Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a slender rod AB with a weight of W is attached to blocks A and B that move freely in the guides shown. The blocks are connected by an elastic cord that passes over a pulley at C. A. Express the tension in the card in terms of W and theta. B. Determine the value of theta for which the tension in the card is equal to 3W. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First, let us see forces and reactions. The weight of the bar W is acting vertically downwards from the center of the bar like shown in figure. And since uh, due to this weight, uh, there will be tension on this side of the string that is equal to T that will be uh, acting towards this direction. And similarly, this side of the string also experiences a tension and that is acting towards this direction. Since uh, this is uh, moving, uh, since this load is trying to pull it downwards, then the reaction on this bar at this end A will be acting towards this direction that is RA. And similarly, reaction at B will be rb that will be acting towards uh, downwards like shown in figure now from this uh, diagram let us take uh, let us resolve forces along x and y directions first let us see x direction so sigma fx equal to 0 so along x direction we have this force t and this reaction ra so t equal to ra so ra equal to t from this diagram Similarly, let us resolve forces along y direction. Along y direction, we have sigma fy equal to 0. That is, weight w is acting vertically downwards. Uh, that is, plus this rb is acting vertically downwards from this point. Uh, this plus this equal to this tension t. So, that is written here. t equal to w plus rb. So, rb can be written as rb equal to t minus w. Now let us take moments about B. So T and R B won't produce any moment uh, moments about B uh, since they are acting from this point. So this weight W and R A and T will produce moments about B. So W produces moment uh, counterclockwise moment about B and the distance from W to this point horizontal distance is L by 2 cos theta. So moment due to W about B is W into L by 2 cos theta. This is counterclockwise moment. Similarly, Ra produces uh, again counterclockwise moment about B. So, Ra into L sin theta, this distance uh, is the moment due to Ra about B. Similarly, the moment due to T about B is clockwise and moment is T into L cos theta, this distance is T into L cos theta, that is clockwise moment uh, due to T about B. So, let us uh, resolve. Uh, let us take moments about B. So about B, we can write sigma mb equal to zero. So that is uh, moment due to W is W into L by two cos theta minus moment due to T is uh, T into L cos theta minus is because uh, W produces counterclockwise moment and T produces clockwise moment. And here plus since R A produces counterclockwise moment. So moment due to Ra is Ra into L sin theta. So that is equal to 0. So after simplifying this equation and writing T equal to Ra, so that we have seen in the previous slide. So we get W by 2 equal to T into cos theta by cos theta minus sin theta by cos theta. So that is after, uh, further simplification, we get T equal to W by 2 into 1 minus tan theta. So this is the equation for equilibrium in terms of T, W and theta. Second portion of the problem is if T equal to 3W, then what is the theta? So if you, sub, if you substitute T equal to 3W in the previously derived equation, that is T equal to W by 2 into 1 by 1 minus tan theta, so we get uh, theta equal to 39.8 degrees. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.